Hey, just a heads up, you guys. The audio on my mic in this episode gets really distorted in some areas. And the reason for that is, before the episode, JG told me that my mic sounded fine. So then we said, well, let's record the episode. I go to edit, and my shit is all fucked up. So if you want to blame anybody, blame JG. Hashtag blame JG. Make sure to put it in the comments section below. Hashtag blame JG. Hashtag UTX ass eat of the dawn. All right. Bye. What up, geeks, nerds, dorks, and otaku cosplay bitches? NWN here, aka the Honorable Black Okage, and the Gaming Illuminati Podcast is back for more. Oh, yes, we're on episode 24, and rocking with me today, I got my co host, he's Baltimore's most delusional gamer and agitator. Game Fanatic 386, can we get your opening statement, sir? Go. Why are you fat, motherfucker? That's all I got to say. <laughs> <laughs> and my other co host is St. Louis's number one fakest hockey fan, UTX Ass Eater Than Don. What is your opening statement, sir? Go. <laughs> so, you, so, you, so you just go. You, you just go. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even get it. I can't even get it. So, you, so you're just going to go against the grain and just, and, and just say that? So you, you just I gonna, told you, you not to say that shit backstage. You, you, just, you just gonna do that? That's, that's what we doing? All right, we, we just gonna leave it alone. Go ahead. True, true, true. Just like a light-skinned nigga, the quarter light-skinned nigga. Um, and my opening statement for today is Watch Dogs is almost here. The gaming drought is almost over. Hang in there, folks. And, of course, make sure to subscribe to the show on iTunes. The show is always posted there first, and you can take it on the go. Link in the description box below. There are also links in the description box below to articles on everything we discussed today. Be sure to check that out. Now, before we get into the show, we... Got a few announcements. Oh. PC side of things. What'd you say? Woo, woo, woo for. You went out for one whoa second. <laughs> we are okay. <laughs> <laughs> the Humble Bundle Spring Sale is going on right now up until May 21st, the Steam Sale. So if you want some cheap games, go check that out on a daily basis. On PC, Planets vs. Uh, Plants vs. Zombies is free via Origin this month. Um, also, for the console side of things, the Destiny beta starts in July. The only way to get into that beta is to pre-order the game. And also on the PS4, Killzone Shadowfall just got a new map, so make sure to download that. It is free of charge, and everybody likes free shit if you own Killzone. Now let's get into those big stories. First things first, it's been a few weeks since we've done a show because JG and Tick were slacking. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> what was it there? Uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare was announced since the last time we did the show. Does anybody have any opening thoughts on that reveal trailer for Call of Duty Advanced Warfighter or just the name, period? Go. Go ahead and talk about your favorite game first, Take. Okay, yeah. So, you all know I love Call of Duty. You know, that's the game, you know, I go crazy for. I stay at every midnight release out there early. Like, I'm the first one out there. It was like 1 a.m. You no, know, the day of the game coming out, and I'll be out there. But, uh, anyway, uh, I don't know. It look, it look, it looks like a Call of Duty game. Like it looks like Call of Duty. They added all this little futuristic gadgets. Like you got a grenade that it's like it's, I forgot what it's called, but pretty much the grenade could be a concussive grenade or it could be a grenade that shows people up on the, on the screen like behind barriers and stuff like that. Which I think that's stupid. I don't like any game where you can see people through the wall. I hate that. Um, <clears throat> other than that, like they added like this exoskeleton sco- uh, suit that was kind of. Look a little similar to Crisis. I don't want to outright call it the Crisis suit, but it's kind of similar. Uh, it gives you, you know, crazy abilities like jumping off of from long distances. Also, you can crawl up on walls, and you got the super jump and all that crazy stuff. Eh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know how I feel. I think it might make the game be a little more refreshing. I don't, I don't want to say it's gonna suck before I play it, but I just don't like all the, the crazy gadgets that they added to the game. It's just I like it simple. It looks refreshing, but it's like I was playing. Um, I got a free copy of uh, Call of Duty: Road to Victory on my PS Vita via download, and um, that that set in World War Two. And I was playing that last night, and the game was pretty good. And then they just got. Yeah, you heard it, y'all. He loved Call of Duty. He ain't one of us. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> First of all, first of all, I said this is one of the Call of Duties that was set in World War II. This is back when the series was good, okay? Uh, what's the name? It, I don't know. Like, how did we go from World War II to now we in the future with fucking Titans and and um, running on walls? And they had the the uh, Star Wars scooters and shit in there. And I like, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't feel any type of way towards it. I don't, I don't like it. I don't dislike it. I don't, I don't care. Like, it's just another Call of Duty. It is what it is. 
What about you, Jay? Well, I mean, you come across an issue when you're you're making like a thousand World War II and World War One games. There's there's little to nothing that you can do at this point. Now, I'm not saying that I didn't enjoy those, but um, I knew that eventually you're going to have to go into the future because people are going to get sick of it, and you can only do so much of of games in the present time so we already knew that call of duty was going to go in this direction now i only watched the trailer one time and uh besides watching your video <laughs> you, were, you were making fun of a certain person um i didn't watch it anymore so i didn't analyze it or do anything like that i just watched it once and i was like yeah it's it's call of duty um, hey guys please give this video a thumbs up for him watching the video once and not over analyzing it all right go ahead jg finish your comment stop me in the statement <laughs> who's that i don't know what the nwn i don't know who that was but, uh, <laughs> I mean, I I can't I can't analyze. First of all, it's it, it's a trailer that's off of the single player, so we already know that people don't even play the single player. So I can I can only judge as far as what they have, but who knows whether that stuff will be in multiplayer or not. I'll just have to wait until they actually show the gameplay and then they go over the elements and all that other stuff to fully judge. The only thing that I want, like, I'm not saying that I won't purchase another Call of Duty again. I know that I did go in on Activision. If, and I'm saying if, they do not copy any elements from any previous single player games as far as cutscenes are concerned, <laughs> I might actually buy it and play the single player because, like I said, that did piss me the fuck off. And I actually was going to get Ghost just for that. But once that happened, I was like, nope, I'm not doing it, not doing it. So we have to see in this game, and, and then you know, developers are like, "Well, this is the best Call of Duty today," and they say this shit every year. So we'll we'll just see when it comes out. Once everything else is revealed, but you know, they'll probably show something E3, you know, a little single player, uh, multiplayer, probably. You no, know, they're not. They never do. They never show multiplayer at E3. They always show a single player, uh, Walk little through. little yeah. They bet. Oh my god! I wrote an article. They better not do a stage demo. You gonna be mad? You gonna be mad, yeah, bro? Because yeah. they do it every year. A fucking year. twenty minute demo. I'm so sick of this shit. Where are the new <laughs> games at E3? Come on, bro. <laughs> but but back to the whole going to the future thing. Like I blame X Play. That's all. <laughs> X Play. <Why? laughs> That's so random. Because <laughs> back in the day, dog, like, it's Adam Sessler. Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb, like. Whenever they would come up with a World War II game, like they would always cry about, like, oh, okay, it's another World War II shooter. Oh, I'm tired of this. This is bland. I wish they would do, you know, something more present day. And then that's when Call of Duty 4 came out. They, you know, they came out with a present day. And, like, I remember Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb were like stupid happy about it. Like, yeah, it's the first Call of Duty to actually step into present day. Da, 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 da. I'm happy about this. It's the greatest thing in the world. And you know how certain people like that can have influences on people. So them hating on it could have had. Other people going to the forums like, yeah, I would like to see a, 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 a you know, futuristic warfighter game or a present day warfighter game and, and stuff like that. And I, I feel like they were caused that along with Resident Evil. I hate Resident Evil now because of that, but yeah, that, I, I just want to say that. That is possible because X Play was before YouTube really popped off, so they did have the most influence as far as gaming media. So I mean, I guess this is, has been gaming theories with Tick. Tick. Um, <laughs> But like I said before, though, like how many how many World War Two and World War One games can you actually do? That's the only thing. It's going to eventually get stale. That's true. But my thing well, is, like, I, I agree. Worse. It, it, it's like take a break. You can't you can't miss what's never gone. That's my whole point. Like why you got to do one every year? And then they were trying to be accurate, so like you can only do one one story of World War Two from mm -hmm. one yeah from one point of view and one story from World War One from one point of view. The bottom line. Vietnam. Well, shoot, they should have went to like Vietnam or something. Or, yeah, or or the wars in between Vietnam. What was it? I forgot. I don't know the wars like that. I don't know the the bottom shoot, line is make a new game. Activision ruined Tony Hawk. Activision ruined a rock band because they keep putting out the same regurgitated bullshit. Call of Duty is next. They keep. I said regurgitated. <laughs> I said regurgitated. <laughs> regurgitated. You can yeah. You can regurgitate your words, nigga. Hush. Regurgitated. <laughs> 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 Yeah, they keep giving the regurgitated bullshit. I, just, I don't know. I don't know. How I feel it. It's just another Call of Duty. It's whatever. Collapse. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> <you stupid? laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy when that multiplayer reveal comes out and watch everybody go ape shit. <gasps> I can't breathe. <laughs> That's gonna be interesting. Um, I really I, I really want to see Treyarch though. Like I've heard Treyarch is going back to World War Two, and I, I'm really interested to see what they're gonna do. Like I wait for their trailer to come out. To be honest with you. Interesting. Yeah. So I'm actually um, I'm actually I'm like well, I'm hyped about this. And see what they're gonna do with it. 
perfect segue since we're talking about FPSs. Um, Call of Duty, some would argue this is its biggest console competitor. This was the original king of console FPSs. Halo 5 has been announced. Halo 5 Guardians, it's called. Um, details came out, and of course, it's going to be a new story. Supposedly, it's going to run on a new engine, and it's going to supposedly blow our minds graphically, according to 343 Industries. Oh game is going to run at 60 frames per second no um, no details on what the (laughs) resolution will be but they did say 60 frames per second what do you want to see in the new halo did you first that's your favorite game go ahead damn man uh, i don't even i don't even know at this point what they could what they could possibly add that i would really enjoy that's that's really a hard question i didn't even think about that and to be honest even though it's halo i'm not exactly excited to go around I would have to literally see some gameplay and be like, okay, well, that's nice, that's nice, I don't like that. But I never, I never really took the time to think about what what they could add that I uh, that I would actually like. I mean, as long as they keep the game consistent as far as as far as the basic elements of the game, if they don't change any uh, any actual control elements, they don't change any gameplay elements, that is just a totally different game. Then I think it'll be fine. Cause Halo Four, even though according to Tick, uh, the the little streaks that they had, even though they were they weren't really streaks. But but anyways, whatever those elements are. Um, I did. I felt like it still didn't take away from from the whole competitive aspect of the game. You still had to be able to aim and shoot in order to kill people. So that's that's the main thing. And it wasn't. It's not really a hard game, but it's still it's still more difficult than than you know the Call of Duties. You still have you to be able to a lot. <laughs> it, it's still it's still four times four times in the head that's you know that that doesn't change so as long as they keep those elements fine i i think that it'll still be a good game that, well go ahead oh now like i'm hoping that they do ask to do stuff you know they could put blow back in there definitely no put blow back no. in there put blow back no. in there hey, put what back God. in there blow, blow. What was put that back that's what on halo reach where you were shoot to like if you spray your reticle will get wider. Your accuracy is recoil, pretty much. Recoil. Uh, okay, I don't remember. Put that, that back in there. But uh, I would like for them to ask to do stuff. You know, what if they they what if they get uh, with with the frostbite engine? What if they do that? So you want uh, you want to see like destructive no, 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 environments? No, no, no. Yeah, that'd be nice. They said that it's a totally nice. new engine that is gonna blow uh, our mind. Well, what and if they have oh, like that? Like that. I also read. In an article on Modern War Negro <laughs> dot com, the number one source for gaming news, previews, reviews, and all things geek and hip hop, um, three four three industries said they're going to be putting the like their best foot forward. They said that they did slack on um, a Halo Four, and they they admitted to that, and they said that they're going to be putting a lot more effort into Halo Five. I don't know what the hell that means, but that's what they said. Check the article out, Modern War Negro dot com. Put the, you really just he really did that. Uh, anyway, plug, plug, plug. Plug it. Yeah. anyway, put the aliens back in the game. I want to cover it back in there, and I want there to be choosable characters for all. Uh, uh, I don't care about the whole hitbox difference or whatever. Fix that. You can fix that. Uh, true. Yeah, definitely true. Uh, if, you know, the, I hope the engine has, like I said, destructible environments because a lot more of these next gen games need that. I don't consider you a next gen shooter if you don't have that. Battlefield. It's the only next gen shooter right now to me because it has destructible environments. Until other games add that, they're not really next gen. So definitely mm. add something like that in the game. You know what? Good, good job, Ted, because you, you definitely brought up a very good point. Halo 4 removed the Covenant, aka the dinosaurs, is what we like to call them. And uh and Gears was another game that uh that they took away the enemies in their game too, so you could only play oh. as the cog. That was some bullshit. Like I don't understand why you would do something like that. So it's definitely interesting. Yes, bring the covenant back and let let people play with this uh, multiplayer. That's that it's like a simple element that you removed for no reason. I agree with the destructible environment part with Tick too. That is not next gen if it don't got destructible environments. <laughs> Titanfall. But um <laughs> <laughs> moving on to more first person shooter news. Um I read on modernwarnego.com, the number one source for gaming news, previews, reviews, and all <laughs> things. <laughs> uh, Far Cry 4 was announced. Um what do you guys as far as like details that was it it was like far cry 4 was announced they didn't really say anything what she would expect i would assume we see it at e3 <laughs> they what did you say re- some stuff they did say some okay stuff. go ahead and I, I must have missed it what did they say to so apparently this is taking it's not going to take place in the jungle it's going to take place in like some mountain mountainous area where it's like snow and 
stuff there is some you know some forest and things like that and the person like the person that is uh, the enemy is supposed to be some self-proclaimed king or some shit and that's all I got out of it. <laughs> that's pretty much all I read. I, I don't think I read any further, but that's probably that's pretty much the gist of what's going to go on in it. And uh, I don't know about any gameplay features that are added or anything, or any of the environmental uh, hazards that are going to be in the game or anything. But um, Far Cry Three, I'm doing a let's play of that, and I'm enjoying that game. So I'm thinking that this game is going to be good. I got, I got. My head's crossed on it. I think it's gonna be good. I'd I'd prefer to personally see an actual sequel, a full blown version of uh, Far Cry Three Blood Dragon, Blood Dragon Two, just basically. Did you play that DLC? Nah, I, think that's what I, I didn't play it either. Uh, I played it. it. It's pretty damn fun, and it's like it's like old school, just like real cheesy '80s, over the top one liners, like cyber cyber powers and all this shit. It was just like it was, you know, it's a very imaginative game, and I could appreciate that in a landscape where everything's trying to be super realistic. So I'd like to personally see a Blood Dragon 2, but I doubt they'll do that. I mean, it was kind of a given. I don't think that anyone was like super surprised that a Far Cry 4 was coming out. So we'll, we'll just have to look at the gameplay. Uh, uh, I, I know that Far Cry, when Far Cry 2 came out, that kind of left a bad taste in my mouth and I tried yeah. that out. So I didn't try Far Cry 3, but a lot of people said it was good. I might actually go back and, and play that one. Uh, um, Far so. Cry 3 is basically Assassin's Creed first person shooter. Uh, it pretty much is. That's pretty much the whole just you climb a tower and then it does that whole thing where it does a 360 landscape. You unlock a bunch of missions, you go do them. It's 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 Assassin's Creed. And I never played Assassin's Creed before, but I like this game. So, (laughs) so so given that, do you actually like it? The NWN? It was all right. I mean, I wouldn't play through it a second time, but it was good. I could see, I could, I could appreciate it. Same thing with Watch Dogs from the gameplay I've seen. It's it's um, Assassin's Creed in the future. Mm. The same thing. They climb a tower that does a 360. You unlock some missions. That's why I'm trying to get it for free. <laughs> <laughs> like Ubisoft, really, uh, you use the same damn mechanics. I'd like to see them implement something new. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, well Ubisoft we'll is all about. They're all about uh, stealth. So that's kind of why they're all about stealth gameplay. Every game they came out with is pretty much stealth. Oh. Yeah, Tom Clancy is like <laughs> the, the leader and like the founder of, of all, all these type of games. So they kind of just based every other game off of that I'm seeing. Um, and EA is evil news. This is very important. So listen <laughs> up, folks. Um, Put some evil e- music on. <laughs> wait, wait, what would evil music sound like, though? I don't know. Just find something with this orchestra so, or something. So, uh, <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get something like Star Wars fucking uh fucking synth I don't know, music uh, or something. Uh, like enemy music, yeah. Any enemy in any video game, you can probably find it. Let's go. <laughs> and EA is evil dudes music. EA is shutting down fifty games, servers, online games, their servers or whatever. Um some do you want me to read down the whole list or just some notable joints? Nah, just some notable ones. Okay, if you want to see the whole list, make sure to check out ModernWarNegro.com, the number one source for gaming, news, previews, reviews, anime, hip-hop, all things geek. I um, heard some rubblings. All right. <laughs> ModernWarNegro.com is hot. <laughs> um, some notable games that they are shutting down. Um, Battlefield 92, Battlefield 2, um, Crisis 2, Crisis 1, Crisis War, like FIFA 08 to FIFA 10. Um, like all the old Maddens, um, a bunch of Need for Speed, um, what else? Star Wars Battlefront One and Two, and uh, some Tiger Woods games. Mostly it's like old sports games, but you know, like I said, you got the Battlefield in there, you got Crisis Two and One, and like you got some games that I would guess people still play. They and do. um, yeah, the servers they shut down. Um, June 30th, 2014. I repeat, June 30th, 2014. So if you play any of those games, or if you, um, just know that that shit's about to be shut down. If you want to see the full list, go check out the site. Um, link in the description box below. Hey, y'all got anything to say on that? It's funny, because we were talking trash about Nintendo shutting down their servers on some of their games, and now EA is doing it. Uh, so that's, that's very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Uh, most of these games, I don't think anyone would care about, but the notable ones, yeah, I know that people definitely play these games. So uh, you're going to be mad. Uh, it's nothing you can do about it. Sorry. Yo, that's so whack, though. But, uh, but you know, on the bright side, this has happened on the PlayStation 2 and the Xbox. People make little servers that are on the internet that you can actually 
they'll log into peer versus peer service. So there might be a workaround if you want to still play your favorite game online. Well, like so touch around too. the web. Yeah, like so called too with some other games, uh like uh what's it called? Twenty five to life. People still be playing that online too. Really? So, yeah. So uh... if you, there's always a workaround to, to play your games online. Real. Um in hype beat hype beast news, Flappy Birds Flappy Bird will return this summer and it will have multiplayer. Does anybody care? For some reason, fucking ABC, CS, some 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 major news work network did a whole piece on this shit. Do you guys want to play Flappy Bird with multiplayer? And what should we expect Flappy Bird with multiplayer to be like? I don't I don't care. Like I didn't even play the game. I didn't download it. I could care less. I saw everybody going insane. So you literally want a game that you got so upset about that you tweeted the man and told him that you was going to kill him because his game was too damn hard. And then Burby, everybody went, the turtles I'll kill you. Yeah, like <laughs> come on, man. Like you went insane over this game and then he was like, Okay, well this game is too much. I'm gonna take it down. It, it, then people literally sold their iPhones. Come on, like, it, it's just stupid. So I'm I'm not surprised actually that it's coming back. Cause who wouldn't want that money? 50k a day? You, you leaving all okay. that away? 50k a day though. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> the multiplayer aspect. Oh, who the fuck knows what that'll be? I mean, two people with flappy birds just trying to get through it, see who can last the longest. That's the only thing I could think of. Like a race or some shit. Yeah. I don't know. I'm I'm not worried. Better be a blackbird in there. Fuck, you know it ain't gonna be the same damn bird. Better be a crow. <laughs> yo, that fat is dead, yo. I don't even think that shit is gonna be that hype anymore. Like, you might still have the same idiot instead of going by, but yeah, I think it kind of just passed the point. So I don't, I don't think it's gonna come back with the vengeance. Like, oh shit, this is the hottest, uh, hottest mobile game out. Nah, I think, it, I think it's pretty much done. He should have rode that wave until it fell off, and instead he just fell off, and now he want to come back. It ain't gonna work. I mean, I'm not exactly mad at him because I mean, if if he was feeling like, okay, well, this game is too much. Who who normally would do that? I mean, it is 50k a day that he was, you know, taking out his pockets. But I feel like he did make the right decision. Cause people were getting a little bit too addicted on that shit, just a little bit. Fuck that! I'm trying to make the money. You can send me that <laughs> toys all you want. I don't give a fuck. Uh, um last piece of big news big story um twitch is being acquired by youtube for one billion dollars one motherfucking billion dollars um do you think let's take take the floor do you think this is a good thing for twitch or do you think youtube is going to ruin twitch youtube is going to ruin twitch so they ruin it Uh, i think so (laughs) because like first of all look at youtube (laughs) <laughs> that's all I'm gonna tell you. Look at YouTube, <laughs> uh, and compared to how it was before uh, Google took it over. So, first of all, how we play music in the background, they're definitely going to enforce copyright on that. So you won't be able to play music in the background. So all you guys that like to you know, go to the channels to have it where you can choose your own song and stuff like that, it's no longer going to be there unless they're playing, you know, unlicensed music, which normally sucks. Uh, it- what, what you about to say? I was going to say, is that such a bad thing? That means you better be entertaining. I'm not too worried about it. Well, yeah, true, but that's People about to suck. get exposed. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> probably going to have to get partnerships now instead of having to get 300 views. It's going to be like people probably partnering with the channel and stuff and all that. Uh, bigger channels are going to be thrown up front. Well, they already are, so that's not different. <laughs> I don't know. The only thing I see is that copyright deal. Right, that, that might be the only problem. I, so a lot I of think... games probably won't even be streamed because... If this, this company, Nintendo, it, uh, doesn't want you to stream their game, they'll make it so you can't. I so. think it'll be good if they um don't just don't mess with Twitch. Basically, just find a way because we all know YouTube streaming is trash. Or if you don't know the listener, that's the reason nobody actually streams their games on YouTube, and we all use Twitch because the service is trash. It's impossible to use. It's um inconsistent, just unreliable. So everybody went to Twitch. If they basically take the Twitch platform and basically just implement it into the YouTube dashboard and make it work the same way that it works on Twitch, and then basically it sends it sends a um, notification to your subscribers on YouTube, I think that could be amazing because then, you know, you know, we got a black audience. You know, niggas is lazy. You know, say you know, we stream and they click the video. Fuck that! I ain't clicking the link. It take too long to click the link. They don't want to go jump to Twitch because it's just too much work for modern day coons. But if we just stream directly from YouTube and it's like some type of Twitch YouTube partnership, it goes straight to YouTube. 
and you get a larger audience, a larger portion of your subscribers because they don't got to go nowhere. So, I mean, it could be good, but I understand what Tick is saying, too. It's it's 50 50. We don't know. Yeah, and that's mainly the reason why they're, they're doing this anyway, because they know that their stream service is trash. It's not even so much the actual video it's the chat the chat is slow as hell it takes a long time to refresh so you can barely even interact with your uh with your viewers which half the people don't eat anyways i don't know what's wrong with y'all but <laughs> exposed <laughs> right <laughs> but i mean just like you said if you if google doesn't do anything with twitch if they just basically buy the service and implement it within youtube so we don't have to do extra work even though it's, it's really no problem to even make a video but just like you said people are lazy as fuck they just want to see it right there on the website in which they were on in the first place if they can find a way to implement it right it'll be amazing um but google you already know that they're they've done a terrible job with youtube since they acquired it and uh, that can only spell bad for Twitch if they actually try to do something with it. So we'll just have to see. And, 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 yo, imagine streaming only at 30 frames per second locked, yo. Because, you know, videos on YouTube only go at 30 frames per second, yo. Imagine they did that shit on Twitch. Awful. Mm. Awful. Well, it's all good because you know that's that's another site that is uh streaming. Remember the site that you linked this to, by the way, bro? Hitbox. Yeah, I, I I did that. Oh, somebody did. Somebody that was me. Oh, that was JG. Yeah, that and you said they said it was, it runs better and everything too. Yeah. Yeah. So and what's better uh, about it? Fuck well, about Twitch. Well, apparently the main thing about Hitbox, you know that Twitch has a thirty has an automatic thirty second delay no matter what you do. Apparently this website doesn't, so it's one to one. So that's that's a good thing. Uh, I'm trying to see how how you know major is going to get because you know when when a smaller company comes around, people don't want to mess with it at first. But you never know because Twitch is Twitch is the big dog, so we'll have to see what happens with that. Um, I I mean I don't I don't necessarily you know dislike Twitch for that, but I wish it was one to one that as soon as you post your comment, I could see it instead of that long ass wait. But we'll have to see because it, I mean, Hitbox did look good when I was looking at this dude's stream. Like, he uses OBS, he has pretty much the same, uh, the same setup that I do, and he was running at a 3000 bit rate, and his shit looked amazing. So, it looked real good, yeah. I don't know if that's Twitch, you know, messing with the actual uh, stream quality, but that looked very, very good. Yo, Hitbox the Daily Motion all day, fuck you to it, Twitch. Let's go. <laughs> we go. We go make. A, we go make the switch over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we following you, Tick. Um, I bet. Let's go ahead and cue the sad music. It's time for the Nintendo news. Um, news is broken out that Nintendo is working on a console for emerging markets. Now, if you're a slow motherfucker, emerging markets is the politically correct way to say poor countries, third world countries, because you know we don't want to hurt other countries' feelings. So. Um, if you're from, you know, the U.S., Canada, U.K., you probably will never see this or ever hear of it, but it is news. Um, yeah, they're bringing the new consoles to emerging markets. They said it could launch as soon as 2015, 2016. Um, I don't know. I don't, well, there's so many questions I have for this thing, okay? <laughs> so this, is, this new console is supposed to be for poor countries, right? Um, first of all, the Wii U doesn't have an Ethernet port, so is this new console going to have an Ethernet port? Because this is made cheaper. Um, on top of that, if you really want to argue, the Wii U is not a next-gen console for talking about specs. And you can't give them the Nintendo Wii. So it has to be something between the Nintendo Wii and the Ninten and the Wii U. Because the Wii U is, quote-unquote, their premium product, right? Um, so what's going to be the in-between as far as specs? Because I, I don't know. What y'all think of this bullshit? This can't be serious. Nintendo, Nintendo, Nintendo. Who is running things at this company? Where Sorry. is the Nintendo in the 80s and 90s and God the early 2000s that we loved? Oh my goodness. Like, okay, so here's a question for me. What games are you going to produce right. for this? Because, like, are you, is it going to is it gonna play Wii games? Is it going to play Wii U games? Is it going to play games that none of these consoles can run? Is this a, a Wii Mini that we were talking about in one of the earlier podcasts that they read in black shit? It looked like a tablet. What is this? I don't understand in, what, the, in the least bit like what this could be because if you're going to make a console that plays that, that plays the same games as the Wii and the Wii U or, you know, either or, 
why would you make a, a brand new console for it and, and then make it cheaper? Because if you're going to make it more, that makes absolutely no sense if none of us in, in actual first world countries are going to see it and, and you want to make it marketable to them, that makes absolutely no sense. So is it going to be HD? Well, I, I, I don't I don't understand. I have so many questions, Nintendo. Please stop. Please stop hurting my brain, yo, with these bonehead decisions. Please stop. And then what about accessories? How much will the accessories cost? Because you can't charge them too much because it's a third world country. These are our quote board. unquote emerge this guy. This <laughs> console surfboard this shit out into the ocean. I what'd you think about this, Tick? <laughs> that says it all, folks. <laughs> that says it all, bro. I don't know something to I thought they were gonna make a new console for us. No. Like, yeah, you remember we, you remember we said was, that, right? No, no. no. Oh, yeah, okay, that was the original. But no, no, no. This, this is a. Uh, where did I read this? I want to say it was like Forbes or something. It was a credible website. It was a credible uh, website. That sucker's going to have Nintendo 64 graphics. That's the in between right there. We. <laughs> no, we and GameCube graphics. Well, it's the same thing, pretty much. You know, I don't know, bro. But, uh. Yeah. Like, Can we just like, get a new Nintendo console, though, that's like on par with at least the Xbox One? If, if Nintendo <laughs> wants to win. Just get rid of that tablet because a hundred dollars goes towards the damn tablet. Drop the price down to two hundred and include. I said price. <laughs> oh my god, yo, he, he is really going in right now. <laughs> <laughs> the price is right. Include the um, what is it called? The pro controller because no, look, when Smash Brothers comes out, nobody's playing that shit with a tablet. Everybody's gonna nope. be using the pro controller, okay? right? So just put the Wii U with pro controller, put that bitch down for one ninety nine, and I guarantee you the Wii U will sell. Like, and then you can put it in fucking third world countries. And then oh, like, God. okay, another question: Are you are you putting this out to compete with the Wii U? Like, what are, what are you doing? <laughs> competing against yourself <laughs> yeah like what are you what are you doing here you're not even competing with microsoft and sony anymore you're competing amongst yourself what the fuck is going on right now i i hate nintendo so much i really, really do and, and, and it's what's, sad for me to say what's they funny end up like sega bro i try to tell you because the white gonna trust these dudes no more yo like and, they, and you know they're not gonna sell mario to no other company yeah, like you sat there and put out a console. You said it was going to be next gen. Then these other two consoles come out and destroy it uh, by comparison. <laughs> and then you 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 close your doors on a lot of online uh, support. <laughs> and then you did all these price drops. And then you you didn't get all these multi plats for your consoles. I mean, they know for that pretty much uh, back in the sixty four days and up. But you, you stopped all this multi plat support. So like. If I was a Nintendo fan, like, I wouldn't even trust the next Nintendo to come out, bro. Like, I wouldn't want to get it. Like, I'm like, yo, I, I don't I don't feel like I could trust trust their services, bro. Like, They're still damage controlling. All they want is Mario, Smash Brothers, and Zelda, and they're fine. And I don't understand. Mar I mean, Nintendo has some of the most iconic characters of all time, and you still don't bring out the games. Every single console that comes out, you don't bring out the games. You say that you're going to bring out the games, and then you give us something like Chibi Robo, which nobody fucking asks for. You stupid ass company. Like, I don't, I just, oh my god. They, they are, and, they're about to go hard. off what G said. Some people might think this is good news. I don't think it's good news. Omega Ruby Pokemon and Alpha Sapphire Pokemon were announced and fucking Nintendo fans went nuts for the same fucking game. Meanwhile, your Wii U don't got shit. What is there on the 3DS? Mario Golf sucks. Fucking, uh, what else came out? Kirby, Donkey it's the Kong. same fucking Donkey Yoshi. Kong. You Kirby is fucking, it's the same game. Y'all get excited for the same shit. I don't, and then you know what they're going to say. Well, the PS4 got the remake of uh, fucking, uh, what's that shit? Last the Last of Us or whatever. But you can't even count that because most people didn't play that. So now they can get it on the PS4. Most you motherfuckers played Red or Ruby and Alpha, Sapphire or whatever. And that's why you're getting excited for it. You wonder, I don't, I don't, I don't get Nintendo fans. Man. I don't get at the it. Beginning. They'll think it's a new game. Oh my God. Right. That's what me and JG were joking around. The Nintendo fans are such fucking simps. You add a buzzword in front of a game and they go excited. Fucking super duper yellow version. Oh my God. God. <laughs> They just going off the fucking Pokemon helium. Oh my god! Like you guys are such fucking simps. I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> 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 
Look, <laughs> you know they're going to get mad. I'm getting comments. I don't, the I'm turning up. Comments section. Yo, about to go crazy. We're not mentioning nothing about the comments, man. Look, we all said we're going to go crazy. All right. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Hey, look. Look. I would be okay with Omega Red and Alpha Sapphire being announced if it was announced alongside maybe like a new Pokemon or a new IP period. That's all they announced. Give yeah, me they Pokemon to... Stadium, bro. Pokemon Stadium. Bring me, bring me, even though this suck, like, I wouldn't even be, I wouldn't be mad if you said, like, Pokemon uh, Snap is coming back. Uh, right, right, right. Like, yo, any, yo, anything, yo. Give me, give me Kobe Bryant courtside, son. Can I get that? <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> was a good game. That, that was a good game. That was a good game, son. I had that game. That's what it was off the hook. That Can I get that back? Nice. Right, Come right, on, right, asking, right. yo. I don't get it, man. I'm sure all the Nintendo fans are going to let us know. Um, more sad news. Nintendo's not showing up to E3 for like the third row, year in a row again. They're doing that, like that, that direct bullshit again. Um, how y'all feel about that? Not surprising. This is Nintendo. They do whatever the fuck they want to do. I don't even understand, man. Whatever. I can't believe my first console was a Nintendo and I had a Mario sleeping bag. You guys are hurt my feelings, Nintendo. Go <laughs> on. Nintendo made me sick. I'm sick of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> a Super Mario sleeping bag. I had it. Man, I'm saying Sega, dog. I ain't even on, I ain't on this in no console besides a Game Boy. I just played well, the other people's house. Fuck, they don't give I a fuck. I became to Sega after I got my Sega Genesis, and I was like, fuck Nintendo. But, <laughs> but before then, though, I love Nintendo. They always got a heart, a place in my heart for them, okay? In my heart. And I do have a heart. It's cold and black, but it's there. Okay? All righty. <laughs> that's, that, that's enough of the Nintendo sad news. We'll cut the music off. <laughs> <laughs> so sad bro um in xbox news um xbox came out they're changing a bunch of policies um for xbox live you will no longer um netflix twitch hulu you know all the streaming services they're no longer hidden behind the paywall so you no Yay! longer need and this starts in june i don't know what the they didn't say an exact date but they said june and basically you don't need xbox live gold to use all the other services gold is basically now just to play games online it goes to xbox for listening i think um they the fired like us. i think they fired like everybody in the higher ups since like new management and shit so we're seeing a lot of positive things coming from xbox oh shit why um, nintendo do this man they're, 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 they're in their own world right? <laughs> <laughs> they're in their own bubble they're in their own world with mushrooms and <laughs> they probably getting they high off folks just eating fucking mushrooms all day. Really? Making decisions. Yeah. <laughs> pipes and mushrooms. They eating mushrooms. They smoking out the pipes. <laughs> Nintendo fans. Nintendo fans got pet turtles. They be trying to jump on them and shit. Like, <laughs> Look, <laughs> all of that cars when they die. I showed you, mad. King Koopa. <laughs> um, <laughs> I dare you pull up in front of me. I throw a blue shell at him and shit. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Um, other Xbox news. The, the, what kind of spoiled this news is that what we just said was positive about Xbox, but the last little piece that like a lot of people skipped over, which I didn't. Um, a new policy for the Xbox Live Gold games, the games for gold or whatever, when they give away those two free games every month, like PSN. Um, they're making it more like PSN. Basically, back back when they were first doing it, you actually owned the games. Now it's like PSN, where if you Virtual. stop paying. Yeah, you stop paying for Xbox Live Gold, you never own the games. So Xbox games might have not been as good as the PSN for free, but at least you owned them. Now you don't even own them anymore, and I, I thought that kind of sucked. That was kind of whack, which I, I heard, think. I hope certain YouTubers make a video about that. You know those YouTube X for uh, micro, what would I call them? Micro hobos? Micro Microsoft. 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 <laughs> hey guys, what's the Martin here? <laughs> <laughs> I uh, hope they make a video about that, but you know they're not. They only make positive Xbox videos and, you know, negative Sony videos. Like, they're not paying me off. <laughs> right. Uh, what's the name? My right, hard work pays off. Um, A new trailer came out, too, for uh, Xbox One for Sunset Overdrive, and the game looks amazing. Not to tick, but it does to me. It looks like... Uh, I've been here, guys. It looks like a combination of Dead Rising and... Uh, infamous. No, not Infamous. It does. Uh, the war i guess it, it, i don't know the game is really colorful it looks like it's gonna have a lot of customization and it, it looks fun to me what you think about it take that i think it looks like if mr dead rise a little bit left for dead uh i think i'll get bored of it because i got bored of dead rise in like 30 minutes when i was playing dead rise in, was it four or the xbox one and that was my first time playing dead rise and i got bored like pretty quickly so i was thinking the same thing with this if you play with a bunch of people I think that might make it better, but if you play by yourself, it might be a little lame. 
Well, I like Dead Rising, so I think I think this game looks amazing. And then I like the little weapon customization because uh, it's the same people that made Ratchet and Clank. So you know that they're they're very famous for making just random weapons to do whatever. And looking at the gameplay, I think it's really dope. So we just have to see when it comes out. I hope they do have co-op or some sort of multiplayer mode. We have to see what the actual story is based off of and if there will be missions or whatnot. Um, still, still a lot of questions up in the air, but from the gameplay, from what I saw, it looked dope. So I, I got to pick it up. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> it's okay. When you say you didn't like Dead Rising, and if it reminds you of Dead Rising, of course you wouldn't you like, don't it. like it. <laughs> yeah. Nobody mad at you. Um, ain't no, and that's all the Xbox news. Ain't no PlayStation. Oh wait a minute, no, you forgot, forgot about, about the major thing, yeah. Like, yeah. Come on, what yeah. about Connect? What about Connect? <laughs> you didn't know about this? Oh yeah, I forgot to add that to my notes. Y'all didn't tell me to add that shit. No, uh, that where are you like going? The first thing you wrote down. <laughs> nah, it's okay. I got it. Oh my bad, my bad. Hey, look, 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 look. Microsoft got rid of the Connect. They said they would never do it. They dropping the price down to three ninety nine, which I don't understand. It should be cheaper because it's weaker than the PS four. It is. But um, yeah, they got rid of the Connect, so you will, you don't have to buy that shitty ass camera that nobody uses. Go ahead. What y'all want to say about? It? Yeah, like you just said, I believe it should be three hundred fifty dollars, not three ninety nine. I still think people get ripped off. Because, yeah, they took the connect away. And it's funny because a lot of people was damage controlling on my video saying that, you know, yeah, they, they it was supposed to come with it because the Dada specs and then these codes and all this. Da, 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 da. I think I know a lot because I don't work for Xbox, but I feel like X12, I do all that X12, crazy stuff. Can, yeah, mm, the X12. X12. <laughs> yeah, the, the power of the cloud hasn't even done anything yet. So you think DX12 is going to come to the Xbox? Cut it out, bro. Where's the cloud first? Right. That was the main thing talked about. So where's that? But. Anyway, uh, now you don't have to use Connect, so they pretty much lied about that because they said that it wouldn't function without the Connect. Even after they made it so you could turn it off, they were still saying it has to be with the Xbox. You can't use it without a Connect, but you could. Uh, so they was with people also. Now they finally got rid of it. Uh, I guess the new management and all that decided it was stupid, and then they dropped the price. But like I said before, the price should be three fifty. It should be three hundred forty nine ninety nine uh, for the Xbox One, while the PlayStation is. You know, three ninety nine because the the PlayStation is a stronger console, a lot stronger, so it, it's only right. And you know, it's really bad because now that the price on the Xbox One is dropped, that means even less sales for the Wii U. It's <laughs> <laughs> lower, yeah. That's very really good. So take really really AWN. What do you what do you call that when someone says something and then they take it back? I think that's a lie. Is, yeah, is that something else? I, I, th- I thought that was a Hold lie, on. but people you sound said- like you surprised Microsoft lying. No, no, yeah. it's not. No, it's not. A, it's not a shot at them. It's a shot at the people damage controlling. Saying, well, uh, I, "I feel like I wasn't lied to." What the fuck? We all were lied to. Whether you bought the console or not, it was a lie. They said that you had to use a connect, and it wouldn't be functional without it. But clearly, it is because they finally dropped it. That is a fucking lie. Stop damage controlling it. As I'm talking about a, a freaking upscaler chip that'll. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was oh more. That was. Or, uh, oh damage control. We got an upscaler on the Xbox. This well, man making up this, specifications and shit. This man <laughs> said, and I might go say his name, but we all know who it is. Bang, this bang. man, this man was trying to damage control <laughs> this shit. Easy. Oh no, no, no! It wasn't even bang, bang. It was uh, it was it, felt. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, his associate. His associate. This man. <laughs> this man said, "Hold up, can you?" He said, "Can you put your TV at 900p?" It, 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 uh, okay, so can you put <laughs> can you put your TV at seven hundred ninety two p? Exposed. That's what I was talking about. Uh, fucking lie. Uh, Shut up with that shit, yo. And he tried to say that seven ninety two p was better than nine hundred p, though, bro. Um, what um, what is the power of the cloud doing if you can't even get your games at ten eighty p running at sixty uh, frames per second? Shut up. It doesn't matter. Resolution doesn't matter. I buy next gen consoles because I want the same shit as last gen. I know I make no sense, but I'm gonna try to make sense of it. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then let's go back to the people that's hate Lord Sony. Uh, talk about the PlayStation Move. Okay, first of all, you don't have to get the Move with the PlayStation Four. Second of all, it's not only, or the camera. Yeah, <laughs> and it's six ninety nine. Cause uh, one of my boys, he he was saying in his video, he was like, it's, it, it was fifty nine ninety nine. Then they stopped making it because they didn't have any more in stock. Then when they brought it back at six ninety nine, they didn't tell anybody. That's still not a hundred dollars, yo. <laughs> and no one really buys it. But the thing about the Connect is they were forcing it on you. And, and what's bad about it is a lot of developers were making games for the Connect. They, they had to make something to utilize the Connect. Now they don't have to. Uh, so what that means is since not uh, people aren't going to buy it now because they don't need it, you're going to see less uses 
for the connect so a lot of people are going to uh try to work you know connect features into the games and things like that so it's going to be pretty much trash now and that was microsoft fear i know it was they wanted they wanted the companies and developers to actually make games and implement the connect in it in some form or fashion whether it was a voice command or or uh or recognition so and now that you don't have to give the connect the connect is going to die basically yeah it's, it's pretty much dead uh and <laughs> It don't work anyway. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, it did. It sucked. I, I tried it at my job so much, though. It, it barely hears you. Uh, second thing is, now, Xbox makes up even more because they said they put all their money into making the Connect. And by the way, yo, <laughs> the stuff that makes the Connect do that stuff isn't even hardware. So they put a lot of money into software. It's the software that does all this stuff. And software, you can get a regular webcam and make it do all the same stuff that the Connect does. And Exposed. It's so but but they put all this money into the technology for the connect right that they could have used to put maybe a stronger graphics card in the xbox it's been a little bit stronger than the playstation 4 but xbox yeah that was a big fail on their head so they did all that just to take it they just reneged it and now they're just a weaker system without something special and if you don't believe with about how it's more the the, the connect is more uh software than hardware just take a look at what sony just did what did sony just put out that update that gives it all the functionalities that the connect does with its weak ass camera uh-huh expo there you go <laughs> <laughs> uh what's the name we done with fucking xbox random stories uh the flash tv show did y'all see the trailer for this i did not yeah, they're coming out with a Flash TV show. You sound like you don't care. Same thing with, uh... <laughs> uh <laughs> this has been Gaming Illuminati episode 24, and I'm playing. Uh, did y'all see the Gotham TV trailer? For the Batman what? show? I didn't see that one either. Hold they up, got bro. That. I watched stuff. that, though. Hey, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. But do you know where you can find it at? Yes. <laughs> ModernWarnico.com, the number one source for gaming news, previews, <laughs> reviews, anime, and all things hip-hop. Check it out. And all things um, Pat. This guy. <laughs> That was a we we got a Dawson reach here. Um, <laughs> I need y'all to find a different analogy for that one. <laughs> okay. What's the name? What about um, Shack Two? Shack Fu Two. That was fully funded. Yeah, how y'all feel about Shack Fu? Y'all want to play that? I haven't even seen gameplay of it yet. Yeah, I still want to know whether it's a traditional fighter, two D fighter, three D fighter, or if it's going to be a beat 'em up. Because the original, the original was a two D fighter, so Shaq for two, it should be a fighter, uh, just like that. But I, I have a feeling that with that trailer is going to be a beat 'em up. Could make right. it a good fighter. There's ways to make this game a good fighter. All they have to do is get some guys to know what they're doing, take it to a game and Thanks. like fight in a tournament or something get all the big guys that's into the fighting tournaments get you know tell them to tell them what could be in the game to make it good and it'll be a good fighter that's all they gotta that's do that's what the um skull devs did but the, that's it, what it does, Kill the, the, did. the right. dev team that i read that's making this game is comprised of people who worked on halo um final fantasy a bunch of like big triple a titles but none of them are, fighters. are fighters and I was, so i was like what the fuck does that have to do with fighting because fighting is a very specific very intricate type of game and i don't understand what halo has to do with fighting but yeah <laughs> nothing mm. the most about yeah so look out for that shack food too you fucking idiots funded that shit even though shack is a millionaire he could have funded that shit himself because he was asking for four hundred and fifty thousand. instead you fucking coons paid for it no knowing the shack food too Ooh, the original one is the fighting game of all time. But hey, I ain't the, I ain't the one to just spend any money. Whatever, do you? Bye. Um, if you guys don't have anything else to add to the conversation, <laughs> can we wrap this show up? That's all I got on my notes. Uh, I don't have nothing else, bro. Yeah, I think we good on this one, yeah. All right, JG, you got the floor. What is your closing statement for Gaming Illuminati episode 24? Go. Look, don't kill those people. I know there's been three weeks. And contrary to what NWN's punk ass said, it was his fucking fault. So I'm not trying True. to hear it. It's First <laughs> of all, no, 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 no. First, two weeks ago, I had an emergency. And then the last week, we didn't do it. We were all sitting in mumble and nobody said nothing. So that's all three of our faults. Uh, faults. It, was, it was Mother it was That was Mother's a Day last stretch week. on but Strong Reach, buddy. We had to the dance all during the audience is too young to know what Stretch Armstrong is. Look so it up, hush. people. Look it up, Google. <laughs> Where were you on Monday, NWN? That's right. Not in mumble. Exposed. Exactly. I was handling some, Doc. Uh huh. But it's your fault. Anyways, I'm glad that y'all listened to the podcast. 
And uh, we'll try not to stretch it out this far because it was a lot of news over these past three weeks. A lot of news. So we could have did like two, three episodes. I'm just saying. I don't know about all that, but go uh, ahead, Tick. You got the floor. What's your closest statement for Game Illuminati episode four, 24? Go. A dump and a dump. A slump and a slump. They man my cars like an elephant. The truck in the front. That's all I got. That man's Bro. obviously excited because Cameron's coming back, Dipset. All day, Dipset, all day. <laughs> dipset, <laughs> <and> Dipshits. <laughs> <laughs> um, my closing statement for tonight's episode all I gotta say is the screen on the Nintendo 3DS is trash I think the Vita is better go ahead I don't give a fuck get mad there's more RPGs on the Vita so if you like RPGs check out the Vita if you want visual cancer pick up a 3DS because the, can- the the screen is cancer I can't even play this shit like it's just trash compared to the o- OLD I don't, I don't even know why I'm even talking about this look Maybe because I got this 3DS in my head. I don't give a fuck. Listen, listen, listen. Don't Pokemon Helium. Pokemon <laughs> Helium is coming out in 2016. And then after that, Pokemon Plutonium, Pokemon Copper, Pokemon Bronze. It's coming, dog. Hold on, yo. Hold on. You can't make people hate you more than podcast to be, yo. Hold on. Smash Brothers <laughs> sucks. Smash right, yeah, Brothers coming out is going to be trash. <laughs> Mario, sucks. Kart, Mario Kart is copied off of Sonic All-Star Race and Transform. The new Xbox. one is coming out. It's garbage. Expo. <laughs> <laughs> Tick wants to hate. You heard it there, folks. So if you argue in the comment section, you go. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name? Um, this is Smash in the Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> This has been Gaming Illuminati episode 24. I'd like to thank everybody for listening. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the show on iTunes. The episodes are posted there. You can take the episode on the go. Links in the description box below. Also links in the description box below to everything that we spoke on. Articles to the site, modernwarnegro.com, the number one source for gaming news, previews, reviews, and all things hip-hop and anime. Um, Once again, thanks for listening. But we are out this bitch. You a chicken? <laughs>